How hard is it to make it on the PGA Tour? It's really hard. Watching George Bryan, YouTube's best golfer, along with one of the best rounds I've ever seen, and potentially a major winner. What does it take to actually qualify? Let's find out. Ever since being a kid, I've wanted to make it on the PGA Tour, so I wanted to go and learn. But first, there's a bit stop. Is the wind? There he is, a sandbagger. On the way down to Valdosta, it gave me an excuse to go see my grandparents who are in their late 80s, and it truly Damn. makes me feel like a kid again. I'll leave that little bit of peace right there. So now, let's learn. Fast lane when I pass in the street, bag of money in the past, and just Well, guys, we've made it. All the way down to Valdosta, Georgia, Kinderloo Forest. This is gonna be an experience. I just wanna learn. There's three things that are gonna happen here. Somebody's gonna fulfill their dream and get status on Corn Ferry. Somebody is gonna get back on Corn Ferry who lost their eligibility and simply who just go home. Go see the caliber of play. What makes the difference between me and them and maybe even you guys if you guys are trying to pursue anything or simply just wanna see good golf. Let's go see my boy Georgie. Georgie's out here. I saw him. He was chipping with that 54 degree. I saw him. He was doing it for real. Dude, you look unreal. Aiken, South Carolina, George Bryan the Fourth. In case you don't know what Corn Ferry Q School is, it's a pathway into the PGA Tour. And for the first time since 2012, well, five PGA Tour cards are up for grabs in the finals of Q School which I finally think that this is fair because they made it so hard for the past years and it's been over a decade since they brought this back. They make it hard for you to make it into the PGA Tour. This is a four round tournament and you have gotta be in the top 12 in ties to make it through. So this is super tough. There's 65 players in this qualifier. So as I run through the highlights of this round, I'm gonna list off four things that I personally learned from just watching George Bryan and these other players. I did watch one of the best rounds I've ever seen. So here we go, baby. Yep, All right. good ball. So Georgie started off hot. Started off hot, I tell you. Has a great birdie chance here. Bada boom, bada bing! Yeah, good birdie. Georgie! Coming to play. So a few holes later, he pars a few holes. You know, George's driver is so impressive. Ball striking, so impressive. So this brings me to my first point, and that is the routine. We're gonna watch George's routine right here. All right, this is full on, checks his tee, make sure his driver's not too high, or the tee's not too high. And then he's looking at his target. He looks at it, looking a little bit more, a little waggle. I think he takes a practice swing. Does he? Pretty sure he does. Yeah, okay, so he looks at his target and then he takes a practice swing. So a little longer routine, but once he gets up there, he goes. So a few waggles and then boom. And it was a good shot. Good driver. Should be good. Right down the middle. This next guy, you have no idea who he is. Well, maybe you do. His name's Aldrich. He is from South Africa. 19 years old. No joke. He won the British Am. Impressive feature. Never went to college. And here he is in second stage of Q School. So let's watch his routine. And you want to talk about a powerful swing. So he checks his T length. So that's something I don't do. Maybe I should start doing that. Takes one practice swing, looks at it, doesn't look at it long. You can tell he's definitely a younger player because he just gets up there, looks twice. Uh, that ball was mashed. You can hear me, I'm like, holy cow. So this is still the same hole, par five. George laid up. Aldrich went for it, hit a two iron squeezer on the green. George hit a nice little chippy shot here. Good shot, yeah, good shot Georgie. And then Aldrich, is, all he has to do is two putt for birdie. And at this time, Aldrich was one over. So he had a little adversity he had to come over. And George, boom, two Sir, under. But hey, when you hit greens and two putt, that makes it a lot easier. So Aldrich is even par. Now this was a tough shot for George. This is a tough hole over that ravine thing and he didn't want to miss it right and short. So he missed it left of the green, which is tough up and down. Aldrich hit a great shot in there. Very impressive player. 
But this is, that 54 degree right there was impressive. Not much you can do off the tight lies. And this is for birdie. Boom! Kids on reel, one under. Just like that, he overcame his over par in like a matter of two holes. Are you kidding me? And then George ended up bogey in this hole, which, you know, that was gonna be a tough up and down. And then George had another bogey. He laid up on this short par four. Aldridge said, I'm ripping a driver as close as I can. Very aggressive player. And this is his chip shot on the par four. <laughs> so George had a birdie chance right here. Ended up barely missing it. Aldrich, I didn't do his putt. At the turn, George is even. Aldrich is one under. This is hole 11. Georgie hits a nice drive. Setting himself up. Aldrich pipes one, dude. It's incredible. He bogey 10, so he's back to even. So you see this, okay, this is a big point I wanna make right here. This is a big point. This is George's practice swing on this. You can tell he does not like this. This is for his third shot. And he did not like the shot. Very interesting right here that I saw because he hit it in that right bunker and it plugged. And that's why I was, I was like, man, he hits good bunker shots. Well, he left it in the bunker. But you know what I love about George right here? Hits another good bunker shot right here to try to save a bogey. That would be huge for the round as he's even par. So Aldrich is on the green in two. And guess what? Two putt birdie. Easy work. Now George, to save a shot here, this would be huge. Drano. Just to make a bogey there was massive. Dude, just look at the swing on this kid. It's incredible. But George's driver is so impressive. It's Aldrich for a birdie chance on the next hole. Drain up. And then George for a birdie here. Drain up. Drain up. Let's go, Georgie. So let's pause here for a second. So at this point, George gets back to even par. That's huge. Aldrich went back to back birdies again to get to two under. Now this was the most impressive shot I have seen in a long time. Aldrich had a two iron over the trees, bender, cut. I don't even know how he did this over the bunker. Watch this shot. Jeez, he got that high. I mean, absolutely ripped this one. Incredible shot here. So George, he laid up. And so he hit his third shot right here on the par five. And this is for his birdie. Mm, just missed. So Audrey's for an eagle try, about six feet. Boop, boop, oh, birdie, or eagle. Dude. Just like that, he's mm. four under. Mm. And George is even. And then George got in some trouble on his par threes. Really troubled on the par threes, which was interesting because George is such a good ball striker. And then he missed a short putt on the next hole for back-to-back -back bogeys again. And then the par three 17th, Aldrich hits a good shot. George hits a good shot. And it comes down to the putting right here. Aldrich has a little birdie chance to get to five under. Do it. Mm -hmm. oh, Kid man. is good, man. Five under. And this course was playing 7,800 yards. George had a good chance at one, just barely missed. And Aldrich is five under, stepping up to the last tee. Don't know what he's doing here, but I may have to start doing it. If it's going to make me shoot five under. <laughs> Dude, he is. This kid's different. When I tell you he's probably going to be on the PGA Tour, he will be. Look at that move. Oh my. <laughs> Kid's only 19, that's incredible. But Georgia's swing is just as good. I love Georgia's swing. So smooth and so consistent. 
but George, two over, headed in the last hole. Which, you know, it's not bad. I mean, he's he played solid. To be in the second stage and all the nerves, I mean, I'm so proud of George, of how he's handled everything, because this is so hard. So hard. So he ends up just lagging it up. Aldridge shoots six under. Can he do it? Mm, just short. Just short. So he taps in for a 67. So impressive. George taps in for a 74. Pop. Yep. So 74. George shoots two over. Aldridge shoots five under. My number two point I kind of just hit that throughout saying how did they handle the adversity. George handled it great on the par five. The par threes did cost George a little bit and you just had to hit a good shot on the par threes. And Aldrich, once he made a bogey, he would just go back to back birdies. And he played the par five so aggressive. Which brings me to my next point is how many birdies did they make a piece? George made three birdies, Aldrich made six birdies and an eagle. That's a huge difference. You guys need to go watch George's video because it has all his shots from all four rounds. And it just shows you exactly how he did. Well, George went on to shoot 74, 73, 71, 71 for a total of one over. And Aldrich went on to shoot 67, 69, 68, 71, 13 under to win by four shots. And five under was the cut to make it onto the Corn Ferry final. So George just came up short and dude i'm so proud of george he is so good and he's so close he really is so i know george is going to go after it next year because dude he's good enough he really is he just had a few minor mistakes in his scorecard so aldrich actually by doing this by winning the second stage gets status on corn fairy so now what he's really trying to do is go for that top five and get the pga tour card straight out of the bat which would be incredible, which I think he really could do it. So when we look at birdies here, so I did the top two players, which James Nicholas made it also. He's also does social media, which is amazing. Like how in the world are these guys doing both at the same time? Super impressive. As you can tell, the top two players had 22 birdies, 18 birdies, and they both had an eagle. George had 14 birdies, which was not far off. And then Stevens had 10 birdies, so he needed more birdies. But if you look in the bogeys category, look how many bogeys Georgie had. He had almost double, well he did have double of James. Now the thing I wanna look at is my last point, and that's the par three scoring, par four scoring, par five scoring. I always get so interested in this. So same thing here. You can tell what cost the players that didn't make it. They played the par fives all relatively good, like all four players, they played them good, how they should, five under or better on all the par fives, they did it. Par fours, Stevens, six over, that's, if he would've played them three over, he would've got in, which is, yeah, I mean, I bet that sting. George, five over on the par threes. Oh, I don't, George is so good ball striking. I don't know what really happened. It was interesting. Everybody else was playing him under par. If he plays him under par, he's in. He is. Plays him under par, he's in. So freaking close, man. So that's the four things. And just tell me what you guys think was the difference between these players. And when I was looking at everybody on the range, everybody hits it the same. They just get the ball on the hole differently. So what does this mean for the players that make it? Well, they fulfill their dreams and it's the next pathway to make it onto the PGA Tour, which everybody wants to. For those who didn't make it, well, this means they're gonna have to try it again. One of the stories here is James Nicholas. Last year at second stage, he finished dead last. Dead last. And he finished second place this year in second stage. I mean, if that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what will. And once you fail and you hit that rock bottom, what can you do? to get better? What can you do to get past that failure? That is what motivates me. How much can you go after failure? How much can you go? Man, that fires me up. So the last question is, can a sandbagger make it on tour?
Bangers every week, baby. Let's go. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker.